Folks going for a hike or those that have maple, pine, or oak trees on their property, they've likely seen them, those gypsy moth caterpillars. More than a nuisance, they're eating through a ton of foliage all throughout our area. Well, we're learning a virus is actually killing off a lot of them. Alex Love reports for us. An invasive species has homeowners around the Rochester metro on alert. The gypsy moths are taking over a lot of trees, and that could be the difference of them dying out. But a virus is coming along that could push back their population. Since first reporting an outbreak of gypsy moths on her maple tree, Sue McCarthy has seen their impact spread to every leaf. But little sighting is left of the caterpillar culprit, likely due to the NPV virus. My understanding is that's really the only known predator in North America is this virus. It's not like any other bugs are going to go after them. So I'm very happy to hear that the virus has come out. Before the species forms into a moth, it hatches in a caterpillar form, which can produce a virus called NPV if populations surge out of control and spread easily. They don't usually come up uh, very quickly in the first year of an outbreak, so you do have to let that build for a couple of years. We, what we end up with is a two to three year infestation before the population builds up and, and really knocks it back. While the NPV virus will take some time to set back infestations, landowners can apply for aerial spray applications as well and get contractors to unleash insecticide known as BTK to kill the caterpillars alongside the virus. They sprayed the tree twice. They did say you want to wait till they're about ready to hatch. Uh, then you want to spray the tree. Um, we caught it, I think, fairly close, but you, as you can see, they've been out eating it. So uh, maybe we should have done it a little sooner. As the gypsy moths hatch into their caterpillar stage, sticky roll material can also be placed around trees and any surface they crawl to prevent infestations. The Department of Environmental Conservation urges everybody to not touch these bugs either because it could cause some harm to your skin. Reporting in Arondequoit, Alex Love, News 8. Alex, thanks. There's also a specific fungus, apparently, that kills these gypsy moths, but the recent weather in our area has prevented it from making a notable difference.